Wow. Is, uh, so good afternoon. So uh, as you know, I'm uh, from MMU, uh, Faculty of Engineering. So I really cannot see any one of you. So, uh, but the spotlight is purposely on me or actually it's on the, okay. So uh, if, uh, you can see the, the title is, uh, uh, look at mine. Uh, the future of smart homes with the Internet of Things. So the, the, when the title is given to me, actually the, it's so broad that actually I'm really not sure what to talk about. And since it's only like 18 minutes, so is this started? <laughs> It's not. So, so, sorry. so we'll just take talk about something new that actually exciting. La. Well, of course my my voice doesn't sound exciting today. La. Okay, so the the as you can see you can uh, uh see. Hey. next is which one is next, huh? Okay, this is the this is a digital home and lab in uh, Faculty of Engineering. It's in the lower ground. So if you are a student from MMU, I'm not sure whether you know this or not. It's a very nice home, I mean, kind of a digital home in lower ground in the Faculty of Engineering. This is the, you can look for other photo of other room on the website. Sir. There's a nice bed, there are some, on oh, next slide we'll see something else. Sir. So you can see this is, uh, this home right is connected la. Most of the things are connected. The lamp, the the lamp post at the top there is connected. You can re control it from the from very very far away because it's a uh, internet connected. And then the the TV and all that are actually connected to the there's a home media server la. So this is not new la. Connected home is not new. It's so long ago. Like you have X. 11 in the US for so long ago. So it's nothing new. But why is it suddenly become so hot? Uh? So this is uh, the, what we want to, what, what, what is the evolve, uh, evolve it to, what, what the smart home evolve, it, uh, evolve to? Uh? So it's actually now, right, you feel with more and more devices. And they're all smart devices. This is the, the kitchen of the, how to go back? <laughs> uh, okay, so this is the, the kitchen. This is the, some, some uh, landmark connected, and also there's a fridge actually got a display and so on. Of course, this is not advanced because it's many years ago, but if you follow consumer, uh, consumer electronic show, what is CS, the 2015, you follow the trends, you actually see a lot of uh, more advanced version of all this, right? Panasonic show a fish that what? There's a camera inside that you can move around and see what is inside. So if you can always tell uh, when you are at, uh, let's say, Tesco or Giant, ah, do you think I have uh, a tomato in your fridge? Uh? You can just start and have a look to search on the lamp inside. Go ahead and let us the camera to look around. Okay, there are two. So we don't need to buy today. These are just some uh, examples that actually those companies try to see whether you want or not. I'm not sure. Like right? all these, put so many cameras in all different things. I think Panasonic also put a camera in the dishwasher, which actually is a bit funny. La, <laughs> to see that actually whether is it dry, how many this is inside. But these are actually all monitored from afar. And these are some sensors that actually is, uh, uh, for me, I'm working on. Uh. So, this, for example, this one is the one that actually can tell you your temperature and the humidity at your home. At, at your home uh. So, the te temperature sensor, of course, is uh, not advanced as what you see in the Nest uh, thermostat. Uh. The Nest learning thermostat. It's not popular here because we don't need a thermostat to actually tune the heater and the cooler. Here, you just do one thing, very hot, on aircon. Okay, so, so again, so this is a uh, this is also another sensor that actually may be very useful, which is a uh, it detect motion at your home. So most people use it to detect whether you have uh, an intruder at home or not. Okay, or if you want, you can use it to monitor elderly. 
such as whether you want to know whether your elderly parents are moving around, how much movement it has, uh, sorry, he or she has, and so on. Okay, this is a bit different from a camera because your parent might not want you to always start a camera and look at them. This is at least actually give you a, there are some movement, so this is a healthy walking around and so on. Okay, and the top there is a, one more thing that actually is a, kind of a, a, let you don't have to worry lah. You detect whether you have a, a, what you call that, a, the cooking gas leak at your house. These are, these are the ones I think useful. Lah. Okay, so the next one is actually, why are we have suddenly see a lot of uh, discussion on the IoT, which stands for the Internet of Things. So all the things you saw before, right, are what we refer to Internet of Things. They are, you connect them to the Internet, they give you data, you can, con you can connect to them and access to them, means control them. So for example, you can see this is a connected lamp. It's, uh, from, uh, the, it's compatible with the Nest protocol from Google. It's a, live, it's a Kickstarter project. La. It's called Live Bulb. La. Okay, you have an app on either Android or iOS actually can control it. Okay, these are the, the, some of the examples. This is not very intelligent. You just uh, click, we connect to it. We can change the color. We can change the brightness. And then this is all possible because of a few things. First is actually the smartphone penetration is important here. Why most of the interface actually to the smart home or to all these internet things right, is actually uh, the smart home. Because you all have it, you all used to know how to swipe, how to click and so on. So it makes it very easy to interface to them. You just have to write an app. So I'm not sure how many people have start to write some app. Like. IOS has uh, some barrier, but Android, you can always go back tonight and download. You have a Hello World tonight. Okay? Then you can start writing some other app tomorrow. So most of our FIP students also writing Android app. Uh. So some of them, not sure here. No. Okay? So the, the next thing is actually, of course, the internet penetration is important also. Why? Because with that, right, even this, like, sorry, this lamp post, right, actually is connecting to the internet. Which actually at the moment I think if I think I off it when I leave my house uh. If not I can on it now uh, But just to change the color uh, is, But not, no one is at home uh. Okay So the, the, the next thing is actually the, the What we call the There are so many other type of devices That actually are waiting to be connected Okay Which actually some of them are at home Some of them are, at not, are not yet at home for example, I, see, I have a municipal people that actually tell me they want to actually connect every lamppost in certain area to the internet. So, oh, very ambitious. Every lamppost, okay? So let's see, uh, is it possible or not? Uh, of course, the next, this one is uh, why do we have smart home? La? Nothing much, la. it's uh, convenience. Actually, the, the only two little things that actually make us happy is good enough. For example, uh, when you leave your house and then the lamp you forget to switch off, the fan you forget to switch off, they switch off, that's very good already. Why? It saves you a lot of energy and of course saves you a lot of uh, money. Okay? And the next, and the one more thing is actually washing machine, you, you see a lamp, right? And you are at home, you have to own it. Washing machine is not. Washing machine is when, uh, yeah, when there are enough clothes, you throw inside washing machine, it, it, it wash. After that, if you want, go dryer, you dry. La. It doesn't need to be exactly the time I need to wash now, okay? Which means that it actually can change the time it start to wash. In Malaysia, the implication is very little. But in other countries, right, their electricity tariff, right, is changing with time. And changing with season also, on summer, on winter, it changed. They have smart meter, they can detect each hour you, you have, how many uh, watt use and so on. So if that's the case, right, a washing machine that actually connected and know what time they should start is a good thing. Instead of actually waste, uh, uh, it can be as low as 50%, uh, you know I mean, you save a lot of, across the whole year, okay? If you wash a lot, lah. Okay, so the, th th this is one, uh, the, the, what we call the, the save, saving, uh, save, saving your money and so on. 
convenience of course got also la. like actually you uh, some some of them right actually now they they want to what call introduce keyless lock the the lock when you want to go into a house okay keyless means actually you just walk to it and then maybe touch it a bit then they take I, this is you la. then they open and then you can go in the way they detect is what the the next slide we have lah. They, they they know is you because at your body there are something can be detected. Okay. The the only question actually you probably ask you see why you still need to touch uh? We mentioned it that later. Okay. So this is one of the technology that actually enable the you see suddenly see so many uh. There is a wireless communication called Bluetooth Low Energy. Okay, the second part very obvious. Uh, low energy means you use a coin cell battery, it can last for months. You use a double A, it can last for years. Okay, so you don't have to worry about have to change battery la, or a lot and so on. So this one more uh, good thing is about is actually this one supported in Android and iOS. That's almost like 80-90% of smartphone users. Uh. Okay, so because of that, right, you can run apps that actually talk to all these BRA devices. And one of the features that actually it has actually it can tell you where how close are you to the to the to, to whatever you are doing lah. So for example the lock just now, the, the door lock. So there's a BLE broadcasting the signal to your phone. So when your phone knock uh, walk by, right, they actually know this is only one meter and they know since the, you are registered to the door, okay lah, the owner come back lah. Someone touch, you open the door. Okay? So this is the proximity alert using BLE lah. Okay, now this is currently uh, very, what do you call, in the trend now. The next one I want to show is actually this one. No slide because no device yet lah. This should be the next one. The one actually we solved the problem of the lamppost. You, you all know that actually if I want to connect something to internet currently, there are only two ways ah. At home, you can have Wi-Fi. You start a Wi-Fi router, Device can connect to it as long as they have Wi-Fi, okay, and they support Wi-Fi. Or actually, you somehow have to put a SIM card inside. These two are not possible to put on lampposts. Every lamppost have a data plan, you imagine that, this uh, instant. And that you cannot have Wi-Fi hotspot for all the lampposts. This is also in, this impossible. So this will be the next one actually we are waiting. It's a cheap version of a GSM network or 3G network. Cheap in the sense that actually you can't even send an email. The only thing that can send is actually da 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 like that, two three bytes, very small data. That's why it's actually what we call a raw data rate. And because of that, it's low power. You send so little, of course, the, the power is very low, and uh, and it's actually long range as the it's almost as the same frequency as the GSM, but this will solve the problem. The, uh, French has a lot of installation. They're trying to go to Singapore, it's called Sigfox. Uh, the, some company try to use Rolla. Of course, you suddenly see so many names. Are they compatible? They are not. But that one, the end of the slide, lah, which is the problem. Okay? The, the next one is Chechi. Why suddenly also you see so many people have project on Kickstarter or actually put online? Actually, oh, you can do this, can do that. Why? Because of this device also. This make a huge impact. The, the Raspberry Pi, right, if you follow the news, right, you know it's a single board computer. Uh, right, $35, which now I'm actually not sure like, what's the new version. About 100 ringgit, you can buy it, you can connect to internet by putting a LAN cable. But you want wireless, just put in a USB Wi-Fi. So if you put in a USB Wi-Fi and connect to internet, then you can start to make it a hub. A hub means actually you put it at your house. This one, talk to this LAN, talk to the fridge, talk to the TV, and so on. So you can check a lot of open source project. They are all Linux project lah. So you can follow them. You already can have certain version of a very smart hub. I mean smart home kind of hub at your house lah. And it's not it's not expensive lah. The whole installation compared to if you buy a commercial product. Okay. And this will trigger so many other bot. You can see there are so many cron here. It's from Korea. This one from China. Okay. You can. Just try on it. So, but this is the current trend. I mean, a lot of people try to. There's even books online. You can search Raspberry Pi home automation books. There are a few. Then you can read, you can follow if you want. Okay? The next one is actually also one more thing actually we are interested. The, in, the, 
even smaller, even more powerful, and even better com communication, such as the Intel uh, Curie. You know, right? Intel got a lot of board that actually start to use the name of all these, uh, what you call it? Edison, Galileo, this one, Curie. La. And it's uh, very small, it's just button. But it actually uh, can do the thing we want it to do already. It can communicate wirelessly and so on. Uh, it's also quite powerful, but consume very little power. So it actually is so smart, actually you can put it on everything. And they suddenly have a brain of similar to your a uh, few generation ago smartphone, la. Not, not current one. La. Okay, so now the the last one, the next one is actually how smart is the smart home now? Okay, which is important la, because we see if it's not that smart, what are you doing, right? What, why do you want to invest money? To be honest, not really smart. They mostly have very simple rules. For example, such as this one, this is a smoke detector. All photo is taken by me, la, so it's, I have this one. La. It's just that never install, do nothing. La. It can detect smoke and then it can send alert to your device, and of course, it can just.